Today, we're going to check out the site speed on this website, specifically on this blog post. I like to test blog posts instead of home pages because people are actually going to be loading blog posts when they come to your site from a search engine. So you're going to want to load blog posts or speed test blog posts to get a better picture of how real people will be experiencing your website when they come here. Before I copy this URL, I'm going to go to the plugins. I'm going to show you I don't have any speed up plugins installed. I'm just going to scroll through the plugin list. This is a live functioning website that makes money through Ezoic ads and it's a legit website. It's not just some demo site that I don't really use. So we're going to copy this URL, go to PageSpeed Insights, paste in the URL, test it. I'll come back once this is run through. We can see what our baseline is and then hopefully we'll be able to speed that up today. Our baseline for mobile, 36 out of 100, not super, 3.9 seconds for first content full paint. We have a bunch of screenshots here that are blank before something happens. So likely people are going to bounce. Sometimes the first content full paint can be this time frame, but you have something showing up within one or two screenshots and that's okay then. People see something loading. It's like when people go to YouTube or Facebook, they have placeholders there before they show the content. For example, go to YouTube. Here are those placeholders I'm talking about. So they just want you to see something while the content loads instead of a blank page. So that's what I'm talking about. If you, if you see even little things loading, like the logo or, or the menu loading, that's okay. People will wait longer because they know something's happening. So my point is you want to get this as low as possible, but you also want to have as soon as possible something showing up on the screen. For desktop, we are at 70 out of 100. 0.8 seconds for first content full paint. That's in the green. Second screenshot, we're loading something. So... That's better than the fourth screenshot to be loading something. And this is our baseline now. Now we're going to see if we can install the accelerator by Serifinite Solutions to speed up our site. I made a video on this plugin a year or two ago and it had great results without doing much work. We're going to try it again because it's improved since then. This plugin is also available in the repository, but if you get the version from their website right here, which is also free, you will get the extended free version, which is like the paid version, the exact same only it's limited to 5,000 visitors a month. So go download the free version from their website. You're more than welcome to try it from the repository. Both will work. This one just has a few more features because it's from their website. Why it's like that, I don't know, but that's how it is. So let's go to plugins. Let's go to add new. And I'll show you right here where you can find it in the repository if that's the way you want to go. I just wrote Excel. If you wrote Accelerator, you'd find it too. And here it is right here. Click on install now and then activate if you want to go that route. I'm going to upload the one that we just downloaded. Click on install now and you're ready. If this is a live production site, I recommend you back up your site first because you never know if something's gonna go wrong. If something does go wrong, you're gonna wanna backup. I have a backup tutorial linked to in the description down below. It also shows you how to restore your backup if you have to do that. Then click on activate plugin once it's installed. And now we have the accelerator plugin down here, a new menu, click on manager. To set it up a lot of the settings are already pre-configured but there is some stuff that you can set up if you want to so somehow we've already used a lot of page visits 12,000 out of 5,000 oh this is pulling data from the database from when we did the previous video which I said was one or two years ago so it's December 2021 when I did that previous video so we can safely ignore that we scroll down we see some stats here cache pages even though we haven't run this yet, this is probably still from the old cache. I'm going to click on refresh stats here. Down at the bottom, we see the current optimization queue. It says content, but I say current because that's what it's currently doing. So we need to wait for this page specifically. How long do RVs last? We need to wait for that to be processed because that's the one we're speed testing specifically. So the stats we saw before were already existing stats in my database. So refreshing it brings in the new ones. And I'm just going to pause this video until we get to the specific page that we're speed testing, and then we'll give it a go again. In fact, I'm not going to pause. I'm just going to go to settings so we can check those out while it's working. If you want to get the premium version, click on order. This will take you to the website where you can order it directly from Serifinite Solutions. For three years, it's $190. For a month, it's $11. And the longer time frame you do, obviously, the cheaper it is. One month is 11 but three months is only 28 Half a year is only 45 So the longer time frame you choose, the less you're paying on a per month basis. And that's for one website. If you add more websites, it's gonna be more expensive. But if it speeds up your site, it's gonna be worth it. So let's go back into our site to see more of the settings. Here we see all the cache information. 
We can choose which type of encodings, which type of compression. You don't need to change any of this. We're just going through this to see what you can change if you know what you're doing. But if you don't know what you're doing, you just want your site to be fast. A lot of this stuff is auto-selected to be perfect for your website. So if you have experience speeding up websites and being more technical, a lot of these things would be very welcome to see because you can specify exactly what you want to be doing for various things on your website. And there's a lot of options, as you can see. And like I said, if you don't know what you're doing in here, don't worry about it. When you install the plugin, it'll start running through your site based on default settings that it pre-selected based on the content of your site. And it should do a good job just on its own, the way it does that which is what we're gonna check out in this video. We're not changing any of these settings. I'm just scrolling through here so you can see what they are. But we're going to just use the settings it set and see if that speeds up our site. That's the last of the settings pages. If you do have multiple sites and you like the settings that you worked out for one website and you have a site that's similar, you can use the import feature, export the settings from one site, import them to this site. So that's pretty handy. Let's go to manager to see if they've cached the page we're working on here. No, not yet. And in fact, I think it might be computer blind because this is the site right here. How long do RVs last? How long do RVs last? So it looks like it's been cached already. Let's just copy this URL, which is the same as copying the one from here. Let's open a new PageSpeed Insights instance. Let's click on analyze to see if we've sped up that specific page. And these results are greatly improved, as you can see. 87 for mobile, we're still in the orange for performance, 2.5 seconds for first content full paint, but we've fixed a lot of things just by installing this one plugin. For desktop, we're bumped up to 99 for performance. That's a pretty solid improvement so far for having just installed the plugin and not tweaked a lot of settings. If you recall, there are a lot of settings that you can change. You kind of have to know what you're doing. There's a lot of help pages on the Accelerator website, but you still need to know what's going on. If you click on these question marks wherever you see them, that'll take you to the help pages. And it's going to explain what that option does, and you kind of have to understand what it's saying in order to be able to use that. or if your site doesn't have that much traffic and you're willing to experiment, you could also just turn things on and off and see how that affects your performance. One thing to note is that PageSpeed Insights does cache your pages, but they say it's only for a few minutes. So if you make changes inside the settings of any plugin that affects your performance, you're gonna have to wait a few minutes before you test it, and then hopefully the cache page will be cleared and then you'll be seeing fresh results for that page. All in all, for the price point, if we go back to the price over here, it's a solid plugin. I can't guarantee that when you activate this plugin on your site, it's gonna have such amazing results immediately. You might have to tweak some settings to get it to where it is. And the Seraphonite Solutions team are more than happy to help you optimize your site to get it to where it's at a performance level that you're happy with. Because a lot of page optimization depends on what you have installed on your site. If you've got a lot of heavy plugins, you're running a lot of ads, your what have you, just have a lot of stuff going on on your website, it can affect your website's performance. And so it may take more tweaking than just installing a plugin. But either way, I think it's worth a try because having a fast website is important on so many levels. So that's how easy it is to speed up your site with the accelerated plugin. If your site is not sped up so easily and so quickly, the Seraphonite Solutions team is there to help you get you to the optimization and performance level that you're looking for. And if you haven't done so yet, check out this playlist right here, which is all about speeding up your WordPress website. Make sure you check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.